Welcome to Perimeter with Mr. J. In this video, we are going to be discussing what perimeter means and then also how we calculate perimeter. So at the top of your screen, it says the distance around a shape or a figure, and that's what perimeter is. And in order to calculate the perimeter of something, all you need to do is add up all of the sides. So we have four examples here on your screen that we're going to go through in order to get this down. So let's take a look at number one here. We have a rectangle. And a rectangle has four sides. So we need to add all four sides up to find the perimeter. Now, we have a 10 inch here and a 23 inch on the top of the rectangle. So again, a rectangle has four sides. So let's fill in the two missing sides. Across from the 10 inches, this is the same. So we have 10 inches over here. And then we need to fill in the bottom, which is 23 inches, the same as the top. So our perimeter equals the sum of all four sides. So we need to add them up. So we have 23 plus 23 plus 10 plus 10. So we need to write perimeter equals, and then let's find the sum. So 23 plus 23 is 46, plus 10 is 56, plus another 10 is 66. Now another important thing when it comes to perimeter and your final answer, we need a unit of measure. So look back in the original problem and we're working with inches. So we need to label our answer perimeter equals 66 inches. Again, perimeter, the distance around a shape, of fi shape or figure, and you need to remember to make sure you include all of the sides. So for number one, we had four sides. Let's take a look at number two. We have a triangle. So perimeter is going to equal the sum of all the sides, and we have one, two, one, two, three sides. So we need a nine plus a four plus a 10. So let's add those up. Nine plus four is 13 plus 10. We get 23 and we need a unit of measure, which is feet. So the perimeter or distance around that triangle is 23 feet. Let's look at number three here. Now this one, you need to make sure to include all the sides, make sure you don't forget any of the sides, right? And then don't repeat anything. So let's see how many sides we have. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. So that means we need six numbers added up. So let's start up top. We have a five plus eight, plus the bottom three, plus another three, plus another three, and then a four. Let's see if we have all six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It never hurts to double check. All right, let's find the sum, and that will be our distance around that six-sided figure. And a six-sided figure is called a hexagon. So five plus eight is 13, plus three is 16, plus another three is 19, plus three is 22, plus a four. We get a perimeter of 26, and this M stands for meters. So a perimeter of 26 meters. All right, number four, we have a little word problem here. A rectangular living room has a width of 23 feet and a length of 32 feet. What is the perimeter of the living room? So I would suggest whenever you have a situation given, draw a picture in order to help us start this problem and make sure we have the correct answer and everything set up correctly. So it says rectangular living room. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle here, not perfect straight lines, but it will work. So it has a width of 23 feet and a length of 32 feet. Now, if you have 
the triangle drawn a different way, but you have the 23 and 32 labeled, um, you'll still get the correct answer. So it doesn't necessarily matter how you have that rectangle drawn as long as you have a 23 and 32. And the bottom was 32, and then the right would be 23. So in order to find perimeter, we need to do what? Hopefully you're thinking add up all of the sides. So we have a 32 plus a 32 plus a 23 plus a 23. So if for if you get a uh, perimeter problem where you have larger numbers and you need to go off to the side to do some calculations, that's fine. You don't always have to use mental math and you won't always able, be able to use mental math when you're finding perimeter. So 32 plus 32 is 64 plus 23 plus 23 and we get to 110 and, an, and our unit of measure is feet. So the perimeter of that living room is 110 feet. So there you have it. There's how we calculate perimeter and also what perimeter means. So it's time for you to try a few on your own here. Uh, I dropped the link to the mastery check and that's where you will try some on your own to see if you have this down. Thanks for watching and until next time, peace.